Hey guys, what's up? It's Stafford Gaming, and I want to talk to you guys about a fairly broad subject compared to all my other tutorials and videos, and that is how to use LMGs. Now, I'm not just talking going around shooting people, but I want to give you guys some tips and tricks on how to use LMGs and to get pretty good kills with them, and I wish if I had known this when trying to level up the support clap, I really feel like it would have helped me out. So, first thing, my, pretty much my first rule of LMGs is in long range, mid to long range, never use full auto. Now this isn't just LMGs that this is good for. Most guns are a lot better when using burst fire and most guns don't have burst fire. So pretty much the way you do that is if you're on Xbox, click the controller trigger just almost as fast as you can. And that seems to work out pretty well it'll be a lot more accurate than full auto and the rate that the bullets are shooting out of the bullet barrel I'm sorry are it's actually going to be just about as fast as if you're just full autoing if you're on the mouse pretty much same thing which I am in these videos another thing is use the bipod unless you are in close range as you can see in most of this footage LMGs are extremely powerful at long range. At close range, they have some downsides because other people have higher rate fire guns with more damage, and you just get into kind of a cluster, and you usually end up losing those battles. Now, in long range, if you can sit back there, kind of like I was doing a little earlier, and you can almost like snipe them and kind of pick them off one by one. Now, many people kind of consider this camping and... I I don't know, I, I've had trouble deciding if it's worth calling camping just because you're staying in one spot, but that really seems to be how the LMG was meant to be used in Battlefield 4, unless you are using it at close range with a grip of some sort, is what I'd recommend. Don't ever go without a grip, or else you will pretty much kind of screw yourself over unless you don't have one unlocked. A next good tip that I have found is when aiming down sights, suppression in this game, it might not be as much as in Battlefield 3, but when it comes at you and when you get hit by it, it affects you a lot more, especially when aiming down the sights in a bipod than in Battlefield 3. So I don't really have too much footage of this, but I'm sure we've all felt it. It's where you're pretty much bipoding and someone's shooting at you from a ways away because they know where you are and it's it literally throws your scope off balance like it's almost like the bipod does nothing and you pretty much have to you have to zoom out of the scope sometimes you even have to pick up your bipod and then re put it back down to fix it but it pretty much makes it so that way your bipod and your scope is like a sniper scope and it actually does kind of like a breathing rhythm like similar to when sniping this is extremely annoying, and I recommend the second you see this happening, zoom out of your scope, kind of maybe try to get out of the fire, sprint away, which can be pretty hard, especially since these obviously don't have the most mobility, and you will usually end up not getting very far until obviously someone gets you, or you start getting shot at more. Then the second you get out of fire, I would strongly recommend resuming back in your scope and trying to refocus on them to shoot them. It'll help tremendously, especially if they're quite a ways away. And it may not sound like it just from my words, but trust me, it throws your scope off so much that you can't get any shots off at them. And you see it quite a bit in game modes such as Domination, a lot more close quarters, because there's always bullets flying everywhere, people shooting at everyone, almost like a slaughterhouse in Call of Duty. <laughs> Man, I need to use that one more often. Um, but anyways, yeah, it really helps if you just zoom out, zoom back in, and start shooting back at them again. Sometimes it can take a couple seconds for the motion blur and the suppression to stop affecting you. Another great thing to go by is if you have a chance to use your bipod, like I said earlier, I'd always recommend using it. Just use it. I mean, there's no point in not using it. You have it set up. You have everything right there for you. Why not? I mean... It kind of baffles me how many people just go around with a bipod, I mean, like, camping, and then they don't even use it. Now, I know 
some people have trouble with their bipod it can be kind of hard to deploy i know especially in xbox in battlefield 3 uh it could be extremely difficult to deploy the bipod sometimes because it would almost like auto shut off and then you couldn't use it really and if that happens to you then i guess don't worry about it now that's pretty much all i have for this video today guys i hope you guys liked it there really wasn't as much as i thought about using lmgs but these few tips can get you so far it's pretty much unbelievable i was getting probably like three kills a game using full auto with no bipod and then i just started using my bipod and kind of waiting for people and i was getting 20 kills 30 kills a game i was going like 4.0 or something yeah i actually did go 4.0 one game and that's pretty much it remember hit don't full auto unless you're in really close quarters burst shot use your ammo box use your bipod and use your support gadgets i'll be talking about that in a different video on how to use support i plan on making that i don't know if i'll ever get around to it or if there's enough stuff on that but if you guys enjoyed this leave a like leave a thumbs up and check out my other videos i made this amazing battlefield 4 montage it's gotten some pretty good feedback and i want you guys to check it out link will be in the description thank you